It's gonna be a warm day like 23 degrees i am really excited i think i need to bring my umbrella because it's supposed to rain for a little bit but other than that it's a perfect autumn weekend i love early autumn when it's like still warm and the leaves are starting turning huh. delicious Hampstead um, seems like a very different world to East London where I live. <laughs> really, really cute, really posh where I belong, eh? <laughs> it's a really nice day. This is what I want all my Saturdays to look like. Just me walking around, having coffee, having nice snack and, you know, exploring and enjoying London. Maybe not alone all the time. I'm still looking for friends. All the people that I've known, they either moved out or they don't have time this weekend. So alone it is, which I don't mind. This is my solo artist day. If you don't know, I'm doing the artist way, which is like 12 week challenge <laughs> to unblock artistic blocks, unblock the block. Uh, and I'm on the week five, I think. And each week you have to do artist day, which is a solo day that needs to be at least two hours. And you just do it by yourself. So today, this is it for me. This is honestly so relaxing. I could sit there for hours. I kind of regret that I haven't brought my book or my Kindle because it's a perfect, perfect day. It's not too sunny. So I would be able to like see the screen. And yeah, it's just so lovely here and so quiet. I can't believe that I'm in London. <laughs> if you're watching my videos, you might know that I was unemployed for like three and a half months and I just started a new job three weeks ago. <laughs> It's going good so far but it's very very slow the induction is you know i'm reading a lot of things you know how it is at the beginning it's been good um so far so good the commute is a little bit annoying but we move <laughs> or sometimes we don't because we get stuck in traffic and oh my god what is the with the bus drivers here like when they don't want to just go and they feel like the traffic is too much for them they just say you know what the bus terminates here now so get the fuck out that happened to me twice already and then i have to leg it <laughs> because no other bus are going oh that's london for you i love that i've been able to find this very very quiet spot um, because you know 
I still suck at filming in public. I <laughs> so this is like a good compromise, but I still feel very weird if someone is like behind me. <laughs> I am honestly having the best time ever here. I am not like super into nature. Like I prefer cities, like when I travel, I travel to big cities and I like to explore and I like to see how people live and go to cute cafes, to cute restaurants and you know, I could walk around for days just, you know, getting the vibes. Nature is fine, but like I like the mix. But today, I don't know, I think it's, I feel kind of grounded. Well, I'm sitting on the ground, so I guess that's really helping. So if you want to have a very, very cute day in London and have a little mix of like, you know, cute cafes and feel a little bit like posh and then, you know, chill in the nature, Hampstead, I recommend 10 out of 10 actually. And if you've been thinking that if you should do the artist way, honestly, I've been saying for like the first three weeks that, oh yeah, I like it. I like the morning pages, the solo artist day is great, but I don't feel any different now and I haven't had any breakthroughs but oh my gosh I'm on week five <laughs> it's been crazy like I've just made a huge huge life decision because I felt like something has been telling me to do that <laughs> I know it sounds quite weird but yeah I'm not gonna be telling you what it is now you'll see you in like eight seven eight months <laughs> But honestly, like the morning pages, sometimes this is going to sound crazy, like actually crazy. But, you know, I've been just journaling like three whole pages in the morning, sometimes not in the morning because I'm busy, but every single day. I think I've missed it twice, probably. And normally I do it in like a very lazy handwriting and I write in the first person, but they've been like moments and one in particular when randomly I switched to third person and it was like I don't know you're gonna think I'm crazy but it felt like something is speaking through me and is giving me advice um and at that moment I was even like writing in like properly not like lazy handwriting I don't know it was just crazy <laughs> but you know if you know me you know I like all the woohoo stuff so you might not be surprised <laughs> but yeah honestly I recommend it so so much okay i'm gonna sit here for a little while and then i'm gonna make my way to camden <laughs> okay i'll take you with me so let's go <laughs> 